Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at my Guzzlord Miss Magius Weavile deck here that I built on PDCGO. Uh, this is actually a really fun deck. It's really cool how it works. So the idea is, is you want to use Miss Magius's Mysterious Message ability, knock itself out, and then go put your opponent down to four prizes. And then what you get is you get access to B-String, and you can also use Green's Exploration to find your B-Strings. And then you can B-String to your Guzzlord, and uh, you can build up a turn one potential Tyrannical Hole just because you did a double Miss Magius play, and you're able to pull that off through Dust Stone. So that's literally the idea of the deck, is build up your Guzzlord. Guzzlord will be rotating, so we're not going to be using Guzzlord much longer in Standard. So this is going to be probably the last Guzzlord GX video I end up doing, but it's a really cool deck. And uh, we even have Weavile in here also to take some cheap prizes with Rule of Evil. So if you're getting the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor Card Cabin TCG, guys. As always, if you're ever looking for PDCGO codes, um, if you're trying to get PDCGO pack codes, team up codes, Unbroken Bonds pack codes specifically, if you're still trying to get Unbroken Bonds packs, get them over at Card Cabin TCG. Uh, you can also get trainer kits, Pokemon GX box codes, Elite Trainer box codes, all that good stuff like Picarom GX codes. Um, Kenya Stan GX codes, all that good stuff you get over at Card Cavern TCG. Any TCG code you can think of, you get over at Card Cavern TCG. If you do end up picking up something from Card Cavern, guys, use code LDF at the checkout and you get a 5% discount on your purchase. So you get a discount and it supports the channel. So if you're ever looking for PCO codes, head over to Card Cavern TCG and get them there. So shout out to Card Cavern. Now let's look into the deck. So again, it's all about using Guzzlord and Miss Magius. And we have, again, Weavile in here for backup uh, to take cheap prizes. So, it's a pretty simple, straightforward deck. Mysterious Message allows you to knock out your Miss Magius, draw cards until you have seven in your hand. Um, and through Dust Stone, we can do that on our first turn. So, it is pretty bad to give your opponent a free prize. We have stuff like Black Market Prism, which can help us kind of balance the prize trade out. We knock out Miss Magius, and we build up our Guzzlord through B-Strings, and we can also use uh, Green to find our B-String, and you can also use Green to, like, cheat your Dust Stone plays, which is really good, too. So, Green is a huge card in this deck. Um... We build up our Guzzlord, and uh, we come out of nowhere with Tyrannical Hole and Glutton. Tyrannical Hole can do 180 damage. Uh, the only problem is you're never going to really knock out Tag Team Pokemon. Uh, but you have Glutton GX, which can do 100 damage. Not a whole lot, but it's just enough sometimes with Beast Energy. Um, and sometimes Rule of Evil can also set things up to be killed by Glutton. Specifically, things like Dedenne GX. Um, and uh, you will take two, or you'll take, yeah, you'll take two more prize cards to knock something out. So if you knock out a Pokemon GX with this attack... You take four prizes. If you knock out a tag team Pokemon, you take five of your prizes. If you knock out a normal Pokemon like a Jirachi, you take three prizes. And another way to get cheap prizes is going to be through Weavile's Rule of Evil. Doing 60 damage to each Pokemon with an ability in play. So just two Rule of Evil sometimes wins us the game if they have like multiple Jirachis in play, multiple Malamars in play. We can just kind of wipe them. So we take our prize with Guzzlord and then we take our cheap prizes with Weavile's Rule of Evil attacks. That's pretty much how we want to win the game. I do have uh, Evolta in here for the Fruit Tree cost. Just sometimes nice to have to start with, just because of the Fruit Tree. Uh, starting with Miss Dreamus isn't bad either, because you can still go turn one Miss Magius and, uh, you know, knock itself out, which moves it from the active spot. Uh, we'll look into the rest of the deck. Uh, four Beast Strings again for Guzzlord. Three Dust Stones for Miss Magius. Uh, four Nest Balls. Three Ultra Balls. A little low on the ball searching side, but we have Dust Stone to also get our Pokemon. Really, Nest Ball is really important, but we, we need to find Wee Balls too, so the Ultra Balls come in handy. I got Stretcher in here. I am playing heavy count of Pokegear, playing three of them. Again, Pokegear is really good when you need to find your uh, greens on your certain turns. Because again, green can turn into turn one Guzzlords. Um, one Black Market Prism start really just here to cheap prizes. We need a Counter Stadium too. We can't play any ability-based Pokemon in this deck outside of Miss Magius. So we can't really run Ditto. We can't run really like, you know, we can't run like a Hoopa. We can't play like Umbreon in the deck because we have to play Eevee with Energy Evolution, which has an ability... I got 3 Cynthia, 3 Lily. We don't need to go crazy on the draw because we do have 4 Green, which can work too. I am playing 2 Guzmas, um, and I got 1 Buff Padding to go with my 2 Choice Bands. Uh, choice Band Weavile is also really good too. 90 damage can be good on ability, but it's really good for Guzzlord to do 210 and sometimes 130 damage, especially on the Dene's. And again, the Beast Energy lets us also do the extra damage. And I got 11 Dark, a little heavy on the Dark Energy side, but we need a lot of energy in this deck for Beast String Guzzlord. And that's it for the list here. This is my Guzzlord Miss Magius Weavile deck. It's a really cool deck. And uh, you can take some really cheap prizes with the deck. You can try to cheat the prize trade through Glutton. And you got Rule of Evil, which can knock out multiple Pokemon at once too. So we're going to get some games of the deck on PCGO. And we're going to see this deck in action and uh, see how we perform with it. And see if we can win games by taking cheap prizes and just have... A lot of fun using Guzzlord one last time before we lose Guzzlord in the rotation. And then it goes into the expanded format where it's not really that good.
Alright guys, here we go. We're going to go do some games now with our Guzzlord Miss Magius deck. And uh, hopefully we get some matches that are good. We get to show off all of the strengths of this deck. Alright, first game is up against a deck with a lot of different types. So I don't know what to tell ya. Don't know what we're up against. Alright. So we are going to go second. And that's sometimes fine. If, if it is possible to ever pull off a turn one Miss Magius, that could be huge. Unfortunately though, our hand kind of sucks. I might have the nest ball for Evaltal to maybe buy a turn. We'll see what we're up against here. Alright, it looks like we're playing against Vikavolt. That's going to be an interesting match for sure. That is going to be an interesting game. Yeah, we drew a dark energy. Not great. So Grubbin, 6 HP. There's definitely some things that can go wrong in this matchup, but things can go right. Rule of Evil might be good if my opponent ends up playing down some Pokemon with abilities. They are going to get a turn to Miss Maggie, or turn to Vikavolt, though we don't draw anything. Alright, we drew a Cynthia. That makes me feel a little bit better. So I'm going to get Guzzlord here. And I'm going to maybe get ready to build him up. I don't know if we're ever going to take a knockout this turn, but we'll be ready for it. We'll try and get a couple more Miss Drevises. Maybe go for a Miss Maggie's play here. Okay, we did get a Dust Stone. To be honest though, we do have a setup for next turn to knock him out. Because what we can do is we can green for a B-string and a nest ball. We don't really need to do Miss Magius right now. Besides, if I do that, we go into Guzzlord, we might get knocked out by Vigavolt. So I think I'm going to let him take a prize here, hoping he doesn't have a Guzma in his hand. But we all knock out the Miss Drevis. We can green next turn for a nest ball and a another B string and then next turn we can attack this Vikavolt and knock it out that's gonna be the plan hopefully my opponent doesn't have a Guzma to knock out Guzzlord he needs a Charger Bug and Energy and a Choice Band to knock me out here okay so we are gonna live the turn we might just win the game too my opponent probably does not expect a uh, win out of nowhere and oh my gosh we win the game I'm pretty sure like I don't think my opponent can do anything here like, I'm pretty sure we have game, unless we prize our other Mistrevises. And this should be game. So, Nest Ball, B-String. So, this should be game. My opponent probably does not expect me to just win here. But, unfortunately for my opponent, the inevitable is coming. But yeah, that's uh, kind of the strength of this deck. Sometimes you can pop off really quickly thanks to these turn one, or turn two Guzzlords out of nowhere. So now my opponent is going to be at four prizes, and now we get B-String, and we win the game. So, yeah, that's pretty much what the deck wants to do a lot of the time. Try and get a quick Guzzler built up out of nowhere, and then we obviously have Weavile. Not a great, like, game that was very long, but it just shows off how quick this deck can pop off. And yeah, just like that, turn two Guzzlord knockout on a Vikavolt. My opponent has nothing in play, which means we win the game. It's a pretty good win. Pretty good win. Miss Magius might be more broken than expected. So my opponent, okay, they didn't actually have that many abilities to really take advantage of. That match could have been a little bit different though. Vikavolt's a little scary to see because it's one of the only things that has the potential to one shot. So we'll do another game with our deck here. See what we run into. And see if we can kind of just keep up the Guzzlord pressure. Which will be pretty exciting. But yeah, a lot of my videos are going to probably be a little bit shorter just because... I am going away, you probably already know this, I've talked about it a lot of times, I am going away to Italy on July 16th, so in nine days, I'm going to be in Italy, and uh, I am not going to be able to really record videos down there because of the internet being very scarce and expensive, so I need to pre-record a lot of videos, so I need to do my video for the day, and then I need to make a couple more videos throughout the day, so I have 14 videos ready to go, so I'm going to be gone for two weeks. So I need to put a 14 video. So my videos right now might be a little bit shorter. Usually my videos will be 40 minutes, sometimes 50 minutes long. So I'll get a lot of games. But um, I'm going to try to make them a little bit shorter, maybe around the 30 minute range. Just because, again, I need to be making multiple videos a day. Which takes a lot of time out of my day. Alright, so we are going to start with Sneasel. We do have a Poke Gear in our hand. We'll see what deck we are playing against here. Tapu Lele start. There's Eveltal. Uh, we'll see what Poke Gear gives us. We got Cynthia. That's good. So I don't know what my opponent's really playing here. 
do I attach? I think I do. I just gotta hope my opponent doesn't like DC Kakui me or Koga me out of nowhere. Well, Cynthia, we do find a Guzzlord. Unfortunately, we didn't get any Mistrevises. Do I bother playing down the Guzzlord? Not really. There's no need to. There's no need. I don't know what I'm playing against yet. Well, I'm expecting my opponent to be playing a potential water deck. But what kind of water deck? We'll see. Hopefully not Gyarados, but if it's Gyarados, I guess we just have to cry. Is this like Alola Ninetales? Oh, they're going to Guzma the Veltal, which is fine. We can obviously retreat. Do I bother going for Rule of Evil? I think it's worth it. Getting 60 damage on Lele is relevant. Because if we can never get in range of getting gluttoned, that's insane. Because that's a four prize KO. So this Lele is going to be one of our targets here. So we're also going to hope to find a Misdreavus here so we can do Dust Stone. Try and build up for Guzzlord. So I think we'll go for Rule of Evil. The only problem is my opponent is playing a Lola Ninetales with the ability. We need something to go through that. No, they're going to get double Squirtle. Hmm. I'm going to poke here to maybe get a green. Yeah, there we go. So we can do a couple things here. Um, well, green for... Double Nest Ball maybe to get two Mistrevises down. And we're going to try and draw into the double Miss Maggie's play. I think I'll still go for Rule of Evil though. Even if I hit this. So I can play Black Market down now. Um, but I'd honestly much rather save it. Maybe this fifth card though could have been important. Okay, we did get another Dust Stone. So we are getting, my opponent's going to get another prize here. We didn't get Weavile, unfortunately, so we'll have to try and get it here. We can do another Dust Stone. If we can get another Beast Train, we can just knock out this Vulpix now, but then we get attacked by Tapu Lele, and I don't really like that. I'd rather just kind of wait it out. Okay, we didn't get a Weavile, that's unfortunate. But we now have our Beast Train turn activated. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it now, though. The only reason I'm not going to Beast Train now is because I don't want to walk into my opponent just Guzme and my Guzzlord and getting an early hit on with Lele. I actually think I'm going to go for a Derail, to be honest. We're chip- oh, we can't, right? Derp already attached. Well, I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Okay, I would have been nice to do Rule of Evil, but we can honestly do Rule of Evil next turn and wipe out all those Squirrels. And that's just- that's insane. We're going to do that instead. Assuming my opponent doesn't play Mew, which if they do, then, I mean, yikes. They probably, maybe they're expecting evil admonition. Ooh. Hopefully they're expecting some evil admonitions. And oh my gosh, they don't mention Mew. So we got to find Weavile here, which we'll just green, I guess, for the Weavile. Yeah, they're going to get more Squirtles. Yeah, this ain't looking too good for them. There's another Beast Ring. That right, will green. We got Ultra Ball. Tell us our Weavile's are in the deck. Okay, good. Uh, what else do we want with green? I mean, we basically have everything. Maybe Guzma. Guzma's good, because then we can knock out the Lele next turn with Glenn and win the game. Assuming my opponent doesn't concede. Which hopefully doesn't happen. Hopefully they don't concede after wiping their Squirtles. They might not even be able to bench a Squirtle this entire match. To be honest with you. I'm just going to play that down now. I just really don't want them to concede, because we're going to win the game next turn. Because we can knock out the Tapu Lele with Glenn. So I gotta hope they don't concede. Just because I can take out their Squirtles. If they concede, whatever. We still got to use Guzzlord in this video. At least once. Do not concede so I can take a four prize kill and win the game next turn. That would just be the most epic. No! He concedes! <laughs> no! I mean, to be fair, there's not much he really could have done. Lele would knock out Weavile. Yeah, there's no way he could bench a Squirtle that entire game. But any deck that uses, like, heavy ability-based Pokemon, like, the Weavile wants to see. I am not gonna lie, I am going to miss Rule of Evil quite a bit. Rule of Evil will be missed. That ability, that attack was just, Rule of Evil is just insane. It honestly is. It's just an insane attack. So, see you guys in another match in just a moment.
Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do some more games with Miss Maggie's Guzzlord. Hopefully we get good matchups and uh, we just win games by doing what we usually do. Alright, we're going to be up against a deck with a lot of different types. We'll see what kind of deck this is. But we get to show off the strength of Guzzlord and Glutton. That'd be great. We'll see what kind of deck this is. My opponent's got a Zoark coin, but I don't think they're playing Zoark. Alright, so we'll see. If we both be nice to maybe get a turn one Guzzlord, because we are going second here. So anything's possible. We're going to Mulligan, revealing the Weavile. I don't like that. I wanted to save Weavile for later and kind of surprise the opponent and be like, Hey, look at me. I got a Rule of Evil in my deck. This is also Rule of Evil's last time in Standard, too. I forgot to add. So it's kind of sad. Alright. I actually like this hand. We might be looking at a turn one Guzzlord. Maybe. Depending on how well we draw. We're going to have to Ultra Ball our top deck away, potentially. Um, I pulled some very Frost Rodom. So it looks like we are up against Weezing here, unless this is a Rodom deck. Which, I mean, Rodom is fine. They don't have any funny Pokemon. Jirachi coming down. Yes, put all the abilities into play. Ooh, an Escape Rope. That's fine. He's not going to damage me this turn, so I don't really care. Okay, is this going to be a Rodom deck, or is it going to be a Weezing deck? We'll see. Shrine of Punishment's a little annoying, because the only way to bump that is through our stadium, but I don't really care. If Guzzlord does its thing, I'll be happy. I might honestly just try to Glen the Jirachi. I don't think he's playing any GXs, so we might as well save the Glen. But Jirachi is something that also is really good for Weavile. I mean, if he's playing a Rodom deck, though, we straight up just win with uh, Rule of Evil. And he's playing a Weezing deck, after all. All right. Oof. That top deck kind of hurts. And we'll Dust Stone to the Mismagius. We might be able to counter out Counter Energy. Alright, Mysterious Message for three. I doubt we're going to find what we're looking for here. Yeah, we didn't get... We didn't get what we were exactly looking for. We were hoping for, like, a Mischievous Dust Stone play. And then we would have been able to get a turn one Dust Lord. But we do have it next turn, which is good, too. We need to get ready for Weavile, though, too. I guess we get Lily. Okay, we got a... Oh, I didn't mean to play that. Uh, whatever. We'll get rid of... What do we get rid of here? Dark Energy? I did not mean to play that Ultra Ball. I meant to play the Nest Ball. Now right, we get Sneasel. Nest Ball again. We'll get Evoltol, because Evoltol could be good to get rid of Special Energy. And we'll pass. I don't want to fill my bench up too much, but I think I'm fine for now. Guzzlord's Resistance to Psychic is also really nice. And I, honestly, I'd rather knock out a Weezing with Guzzlord than a Jirachi, because Jirachi is, again, just easy bait for Weavile's Rule of Evil. Weezing's also got abilities. So, again, we can just spam Weavile. We can try to win. This is going to be a weird match, though, for sure. I don't know how I feel about Weezing quite yet. We need to get a Beast Energy to actually knock this thing out with Glutton. If not, I'll have to do Tyrannic Hole. But we might get knocked out by Frost Crush, which is not good. I might have to get a buff padding on this thing. That's why the buff padding is really good. Some matchups, you need to give your Guzzlord a lot more HP. He might have Larvitar, though. We might have to try to just go for a Glutton. We might not get our Glutton play. But with Rule of Evil, we also get a lot of action with Weavile. Weavile can also win us the game. We don't really need Glutton, so Weavile can also do just fine. Um, I was actually thinking he could Guzman and Drevis, knock it out with Weezing, but he can't because we're not reaching Psychic. He's gonna Marshadow me. Oh, that is so annoying. Okay, that's not the end of the world though. As long as we just find a Miss Magius, we'll be fine. Like even a green can get us Miss Magius. We just need Miss Magius because we can draw seven cards and get out of this. All right, you know what? That quite literally is the same hand, except we don't have double Beast Ring. We have green for double Beast Ring. We need Beast Energy because I want to glutton this thing before I get knocked out by Frost Rodom. Ugh, spell tag. Ugh, I hate that card so much. And all right, twenty damage. Kind of wish we played Blower in this deck to get rid of stuff like Spell Tag. We are giving him an extra prize. I don't like that, but we gotta do what we gotta do. I could have played the Nest Ball. Maybe I should have. That's fine. We are gonna knock ourselves out. He is gonna get a prize. We didn't find Beast String. Or Beast Energy, sorry. Is it in the deck? It is. Beast Energy is in the deck. It's hiding somewhere. I think I just gotta go for the green, though. 
I can't really afford to just Cynthia and hope I draw it. It's not good enough. We prized our buff padding too. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna get Guzma then. We prized our other Sneasel. I think our other Weavile too, which kind of sucks. And we gotta hope he doesn't just knock me off Frost Road on. Actually, no, that can't happen, right? He's ahead in prizes. So as long as it drop a Larvitar and knock me out, I should be okay. Again, we have Weavile, which can try to cheat us some prizes too. Hopefully we get a Sneasel off the prizes here. We need to get another Weavile ready to go so that we can start to spam more Rule of Evil. Rule of Evil can win us the game. Spell Tag, though, it's not fun. He's going to hit my Guzzlord. So next turn, we will just Guzma, knock something out here if we don't find a Beast Energy. Another Dust Down. We can Ultra Ball those away. So if Guzzlord lives, which hopefully it does, we will Guzma knock something out with Glutton GX, I think. Oh, just have the Guzma thing on the bench. I don't want to Guzma anything with an ability. I might just knock out the other coffee, man. We'll see. This match is far from over. I also want to use my Guzmas, though, to get the Weezing out of the active spot. Wait, spell take. No, my spell take out of space anyway. Never mind then. Right, my opponent's gonna Cynthia. If they have Mew in their deck, that'll be an easy Gullet and target. They might be playing Mew. There's a treasure. I'm hoping they don't save their coffee. Ooh, get rid of Ditto. <laughs> that would have been funny. I could just knock it out really people. Just getting another Weezing. So I want to get a Beast Energy here, knock out Weezing. Hopefully my opponent does not have Larvitar DCE though. I don't know if he's playing Fighting. I don't remember seeing it. An Adventure Bag for double Spell Tag. Awesome. Or just one Spell Tag. Okay, good. Could have been worse. Could have been double Spell Tag. And no energy. Ooh, beautiful. This might actually be a good turn to do Rule of Evil. We don't have an energy though, never mind. Rip. Not a pokey gear. Hmm. I kind of want to just do rule of evil, but I do need my gluttons. Can knock out the other wheezing. We're gonna get knocked out though. I need to take a glutton KO before we lose our guzzlord. I don't want to knock anything out with an ability, but we. I guess it's fine. We'll just knock out the Jirachi then with Weavile. Or not with Weavile, sorry, with Glutton. We gotta take a Glutton KO at some point before our Guzzlord goes down. I don't think it has many turns left in it to survive. Weezing can get taken out by Rule of Evil. We're looking for Sneasel and Weavile here, though. That's not. Nope. That's also not. Well, I guess that's fine, but not what we're looking for. Alright, last prize. There's Sneasel. Nice. Question is, do we have enough energy to do this? Yes, we do. We have, we still have Eveltal, which can also knock out Mars Shadow. We'll see if he actually judges or Mars Shadows me again, because we have a huge hand. Mr. Mime coming down. That's actually good. More abilities, the better. And there's a Cynthia. All right, let's see. So I don't think Guzzlord will live the turn. It did its job, though. It got the knockout with Glutton GX, which is what we wanted. So now what we got to do is hope that we, oh, we do live the turn. Never mind, that's amazing. It's good. I will Ultra Ball away these two Dust Stones. So they're just filling up space. Oh, are the Weavile's in the deck? We have five energy left, too. Hmm. I'm thinking about just doing green, to be honest. Search check for the two basics. I want to play Beast Ring to burn him, but I don't think you can do that, lol. <laughs> you do green. Yeah, let's do green. Get Guzma. Choice Band. Mmm, let's get Ultra Ball. We're gonna need Ultra Ball to burn some deck cards. And the next turn, we just gotta hope to find a Dark Energy. So we can just knock him out here with Tyrannical Hole, which I think is the right play. 
He'll knock me out with spell tag, and I think that bypasses this, right? Whenever your, your opponent is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, which is not spell tag. It's not spell tag is not an attack. But I'm actually fine with this because as long as we have Weavile, we're Gucci. So I don't really care about losing Guzzlord too much. We'll just bring in the uh, Evil Paul, I think. We, we can always stretch her and get it back, right? I don't want Weavile to take damage. No, it looks like he wants my Guzzlord to get KO'd by Weezing's ability. That's fine. There's the buff panty. Would have been a little nice to actually have right now. Whatever. Hmm. Do we, wait, do we actually lose to a Splattering Sludge on Sneasel? I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. Well, we should win next turn. If we can draw an energy, we win, right? We Guzma knock at the Marsh Shadow. He has another counter energy. If he doesn't play another Shine Down, Black Market could also be really useful. He's going to stretch her. It's going to be a close game, though, guys. This is actually going to be a really, really close game. Yeah, we might actually really need an energy here to win this. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe we don't have game. Especially because he knocks out Eveltal. Maybe I should have just brought in Weavile. But Eveltal also gets knocked out by Slattery Sledge. It does not matter. If we can just straight up draw one of our dark energies here, though, we just Guzma the Marsh Shadow, knock it out with Rule of Evil, and we win the game. Oh, I covered my black market. No. Oh, no, an escape rope. You suck. <sighs> How many escape? Is that two? It is. That's actually really, really annoying. No. Oh, shoot. Okay, still we live, but... It's not looking great. Man, we didn't draw dark energy. Oh, yikes. Big yikes. We need a dark energy to rule of evil here. And I don't think we can win now. We needed a dark energy so we could just knock out that Marsh Shadow with rule of evil. That really sucks. We didn't get it. Well, just gotta hope to live the turn. We're hitting a lot of things with Rule of Evil. Just gotta hope to survive the turn here. Can my opponent win the game? Let's find out. Either way, this was a nail-biter of a game, guys. I think, like, this matchup is winnable. It's just, it comes down to how much damage they can accumulate before... You lose your Guzzlord. Guzzlord did a lot of job. It did a lot of job. That made no sense. It did a lot of work. But again, this game can come down to really who can get the first kind of... I guess, like, the first... How much damage he accumulates. Still, though, this deck... This matchup can be winnable sometimes. A Lily for two. Here we go. Does my opponent have the game? Does he have game here? He doesn't... Oh my gosh, we won... Rule of Evil for three prizes, or four prizes. Woo! If he had a spell tag, the game would have tied, so it's actually good he didn't draw that. Oh my gosh, we won a game against Weezing. But I'm going to wrap up the day's PDCGO video here, guys. We showed off the deck brilliantly against Weezing there, which I definitely think Weezing, it's a good match for us. It just depends, again, how much damage they get, you know, racked up. I think one last minute addition, I think, to add here is maybe a Viridian, because we could have used Viridian in that turn to get our Dark Energy so we could just Guzma the Marsh Shadow to win. So we didn't really have to go through that headache there. That is my Guzzlord Miss Maggie's deck. The last Guzzlord and, I guess, Rule of Evil Weavile video on the channel. Probably in Standard. I don't know if I'm ever going to revisit Weavile and Expanded. Though Weavile and Expanded does seem to be pretty fun. So maybe in Expanded we'll cover Weavile again. Because you can use Mr. Mimes to protect your bench from your own Rule of Evils. But yeah, that'll wrap up this video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on it. Subscribe down below to help me the road to 5k subs. We're like less than 50, 60 subscribers away from 5 thousand subscribers now and again make sure to check out the sponsor card can be teasing in the description below down below too use code if you pick anything up from there i'll see you guys in another pdcgo video bye bye follow me on twitter down below too in the description and uh yeah peace out